Hmm. So let's go back here. I think we're gonna go through the gates, see what's over this way. Ooh, this looks lovely. Five out of seven of those collectibles. I do believe cactus juice is drinkable. I'm not sure how good it tastes though. Empty sack. Looks like a flower to me. Oh my gosh, look at that spider. <laughs> look at the spikes on its butt. <laughs> I want tweezers. No, that is a nasty, nasty looking uh, beast there. You can actually get Elder Scrolls online through Steam as well, so keep that in mind. Steam is, uh, you know, you've got a lot, much larger variety of different types of games there for sure. Nope, all aboard the nope train. Fire Opal's like, uh, no thank you, spider. <laughs> I like the uh, lavender flowers though, but uh, the spider is a nope. So I now have a flask of water. Oh, a lot of spider webs over here. All right, let's get out of here. Otherwise, it's pretty fuzzy and adorable, but it's kind of. A little too sharp, I'd say. Go back here. So... Empty sack for pollen? Yep. Light Socket, it sounds like you like the same sort of a type of game. They're all those, like, open world crafting survival games. Have you ever played Seven Days to Die? Because that's a fun game, too. Okay, so we're gonna drop off some of our stuff here. Cactus is uh, gonna help us out if we're thirsty. Okay, so I don't think we're ready yet. I need a magic flower. Oh, it looks like we can. Ah, let's go back to the garden. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can drink cactus juice, too. You just have to get beyond all the spikiness to get into it, right? Alright, so what are we doing here then? H1Z1? Never could get into that one. Oh, you know what? I bet, bet this burning stick's gonna do the trick. Yeah, get away you silly spider. I'm gonna burn all your web. Aha! I like the butterflies and such. It's pretty nice. Yeah, a bit, nice little butterfly there. Don't think I have the flower, no. Ooh, let's go ahead and dig our way to freedom. There's the figurine piece we're missing. The, um, what I like about Seven Days to Die is the, uh, it's basically Minecraft, but more modern. Uh, they've did a lot in uh, recent years to kind of update it, so... I mean, Subnautica is cool just because it has that kind of like sci-fi feel to it. I mean, it looks gorgeous, right? But Seven Days to Die is cool just because of the variety of stuff you can do. Yeah, bye-bye, Spiky. A spider. We've got a puzzle to do. Oh, we're still missing his arm, though. Never mind. But we do have a magic flower, so let's go put that over here. Are we ready to rock and roll? I need harpy tree bark. We are not ready to rock and roll. It does say we got something to do here, though. Hmm. Uh. We need to feed it insects and birds. Insects and worms. 
So I remember there was those big juicy worms, but I don't think we can feed it this way. Uh, what are our options here? It's gonna definitely want the ingredients first. Hint. Apparently we can be over here. Uh, okay. If the parts are missing, I don't know how you're expecting me to do this. Oh, geez. Apparently, I didn't realize this one here. It's a shield. Oh, boy. Oh, man, I'm terrible at these puzzles. I'm going to strike you down. Ugh. Oh, I like how it silhouettes on top like that. That's actually kind of cool. You see how it's like an exact copy? Or pretty close to it, anyways. That's pretty clever. I like that. Almost right on top. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. Yeah! I do like open world survival games. I certainly do. Minecraft is kind of what started it for me way back when. Probably, what, five years ago? Procedurally generated worlds? I like that. Jarl. Jarl? Jarl. Yes, that's right, Gibbs. That is a Jarl. Okay, so we're going to go here and grab some uh, resin. No. Clay pot. There we go. Bone saw. Machete. The machete is going to get all sticky, though. Oh, I just cut it and drained it. Oh, it's like a zit. All right. Let's see here. Uh, what else we got here? Let's go ahead and... I don't think we can scrape it. I don't think this is going to work. No, we're not ready yet. That's definitely for the bugs. Now, where were those bugs? And yes, I don't always see every single chat message. It's just the nature of the beast. Okay, so there's our bugs for our buddy. Thiago. I'm not touching those bugs. We're gonna use tweezers then. Hopefully you don't squeeze them. <laughs> we got a jar of insects. Lucky for us. Let's go give it to our little friend there. Our armadillo buddy. There we go. Yum! Oh, we just got the scraper we were looking for. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and put that back here. He's gonna enjoy those bugs. Those bugs are delish. Now we got ourselves a scraper for our harpy. I never thought of a harpy coming from a tree like this. This is new, like is this common knowledge about this mythos of harpies that they come from trees? Hmm. Never heard of it. The map is nice, I agree. Okay, so we gotta go back here and uh, put this harpy bark here. Resin apparently is not what we not, we don't need that. So, instructions. Start with the harpy bark. Oh, I still need magic fruits. My goodness. I've never heard of harpies coming from trees like that. So a plate of resin, a bird figurine, and a bone saw. We gotta figure out where this needs to go. Back to the main temple here. Hmm. Interesting. So... Ah! Bird figurine, go there. Flower and our last little figurine that we needed. We're gonna leave that gold in there, of course. Let's 
put our figure in here and see what happens. Wow. Like, how did they engineer this to happen? That you place those figurines and this thing comes out of the ground. That is what blows my mind. A harpy helmet. Oh, that's cool. Still find it. Remember the lava tears these guys had? Okay, so we have to go back here and we have to get the collectible. Like, H-A-V-E, have to. So, it's probably like some obscure, tiny graphic here on the right or something. Oh, never mind. Found it. Through random clicks. We made some glitter. Let's do this. Got some stuff to collect here. Let's see if we, how much we can collect before we have to do something with it. I need to find the second part of the harvester. I need to fasten these two parts together. Uh, the plate suggests there's fertilizer in here. Ah, so we're, this is where we're going to make the magic flower. I see. This, this tree is huge. Doing, doing, doing. A shovel, a pipe, a harvester, and a symbol part. Okay, so we've got that down a little bit. I think this pipe's gonna go here. Wow. Cool sound effect is cool. I think this key will go here. <laughs> it's so creaky. This game is very beautiful. Like, look at the butterflies and the insects and the... Just everything going on here. It's cool. Do 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 Didgeridoo. Isn't that that instrument for the uh... I don't know if I'm hearing it right. Didgeridoo doesn't sound like a thing. Do 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 Okay, so I've got myself a shovel and a harvester. Maybe we can shovel up some of this fertilizer. Yep. And I still have access to this for some reason. Uh, okay. I think we can put the fertilizer in here. We're basically adding fertilizer to the water line. This is so clever. The engineering in this game is cool. Yeah, Magic Pie Eye, I agree, this game is cool. I need a tool to remove that fruit. One big giant red fruit coming up. It's some magic fruit. It looks like a dragon fruit, doesn't it? Exactly, Mad Hatter. It's a very nice game. Now, where was I? Now, you have to remember that this is made by 5BN Games, and they are known for their lovely games like Lost Lands and New York Mysteries. Magic Fruit! Are we ready now? We are ready now. Okay, so how do I do this? Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that pop was so good. That was such a good pop. Dear, 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 dear. We're gonna crush that up. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we're gonna distill something. It's gonna be awesome. We have to cut this with our machete, I think. Cut, 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 cut. It looks like little fish bits. We're gonna squish that out here. Magic fruit juice. Okay, so that goes into there and then into there. 
we are definitely uh, making up some alcohol or no, not alcohol. It's a potion. The recipe says to add some cactus sap. That's indeed correct, Big Fish Games, as of the time I'm recording this. They are having a 60% uh, off sale, I believe. And I don't normally advertise this, but if you are make making your purchases through Big Fish, uh, you don't forget to uh, use the affiliation code that I have. That would be nice. Not necessary, but nice. I need to burn the splinter to get the ash. According to the recipe, I can add some pollen now. And throw that in. Look at that. We made something lovely. It is a potion of bonding. We are going to bond with a harpy. We have our harpy helmet and our potion. Which is great news. We have gotten all our collectibles for all of our four previous maps, and we've got one more map to go. Let's do this. Harpy time. Would you like a mask? No. 